G'day, this is Jason here from Forex Trading Watchdog, and today is April the 3rd, 2020, I believe. Yes, April the 3rd. See right there. la di da April 3rd. We had April Fool's Day on the 1st, huh? I didn't play no, no, no fool's jokes on anybody. I kind of don't like that, that day because I got told some, some bad, bad fool's jokes. Never really liked that day for fool's jokes. No, sir. But anyway, um, this week was, you know, uh, I guess you could say, I don't know if you look at the Euro, it's, it's, it looked like it's kind of like a quiet week, but not really. It moved almost the same amount of pips. Let's take a look at the daily and see. Yeah, it moved up. Look, look on the daily. It moved up rapidly, moved back down rapidly. <laughs> right? Right. There you go. Okay. So anyway, on the Euro-US dollar pair, um, as you remember last uh, video, we had a triple, double, triple bottom here. We had divergence. Entry was right there, and up we went around 350 pips, I do believe. 350 pips. Yes, indeed. So anyway, this week, as you can see, we had high and higher highs and lower high on the indicator of choice, ladies and gentlemen. So this was our entry right here, right where that arrow is, which I put on manually. It's not a arrow that is painted in my divergence training. We had 130, uh, let's see, 132 pips stop, okay? And it went down to 41. So you would have got your one-to-one -one win loss ratio on the first half of your order. And uh, you would move your stop now, you know, to plus five pips on your second half of the order. If you trade like that using my uh, software, Turn Pro Trader. Okay. So anyway, that was a nice win. Let's take a look now uh, at the Swiss franc. We're not we're not going to cover the pound because there was no trade, so I'm not going to even look at it until there is. Okay, and here's the Swiss franc as you can see, and right from here, if we take it right from there, that's right, right to there, and right from here, you draw from here to here, boom, boom. Just like that, and if you take the crosshair and you line it up, it lines up perfectly. La di da, la di da. So, you either got it, you got in somewhere around right here. Your stop would have been 123 pips, and we went up 167. So it's basically the same story as the euro. You would have hit your one to one win loss ratio on the first half of your order. And your second half of your order, you would have moved the stop now to like 5 or 10 pips. And you're in a free ride trade to wherever you want it to go, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, whatever you want to do. Or if you want to just close it after 1 to 1, you can. But <clears throat> statistics state that if you only go for 1 to 1, okay, win-loss ratio, you better have something that wins at least nine times out of ten <laughs> to keep your winnings up there, okay? So if you do two to one or even better, three to one win-loss ratio, that's where you can lose 50% of the time if you do three to one, okay? You can lose 50% of the time and still make profit. So, let's put an arrow on there, because I like to put on my little handy-dandy arrows. So we put one right there. When price came back, right here, okay? Let me show you. Get bigger. Um, when price came back right here and touched our trigger line, okay? That's where we would have got long. Right there. And our drawdown was 23 pips. And it went up 171 pips. Very cool. Very cool. So let's now take a look at the Aussie dollar, even though it didn't really move that far. 
There was still some divergence, though. So we got a high and uh, higher high right there. Okay. And you take it from here down to here. There it is. Lines up. Lines up. La di da. We'll make it bigger and we'll put the arrow on. Boom, because we'll see exactly where we need to put the arrow on, and it was right there. Actually, on the top of this candle, but when price came back to our trigger line, you would have sold it short right there. Your stop would have been 124 pips, and it's so far it's went about 100. You need another 15 pips to hit your one to one win loss ratio. I don't usually show the trade this early, but I just thought I would show it to you anyway. Our last trade was buying right here, and up it went. There's hidden divergence right from this little red wick to here. So you would have got in long right there. 150 pips stop. It went up 180 pips, so. Right even here, even right here, you got you hit your one-to-one -one win loss ratio. Okay, so let's now take a look at the US dollar yen. Okay. Now, did we did we have a, a trade here? Yes, we did. And it's right here. From here, right to that low. And yes, you can cross through the candles. You can cross, the, well I do anyway, you can cross through the candles on the chart and you can also cross through uh, peaks or valleys on the indicator of choice. Okay, and uh, let's put another line and that would have came from right there to right there. It's screaming at you man saying, hello, hello, bye, bye now. Is screaming at you when you see a big, you know, valley and then a little tiny valley. Oh, yeah, it's just screaming at you to buy it, man. No selling. We did the selling up here. Now it's time to buy, baby. So you would have bought right in here or right here when it come back to the line. Our stop is like 93 pips. And so far, we almost hit the target. 82 pips. Here's off by a couple pips. Okay, and uh, let's look at uh, gold. Did we have some trades on gold? Oh, you betcha. You betcha, baby. Here we go. We got a high and a higher high. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? And, okay, we got this right here. Let's line it up. Okay, it lines up there and there, yeah. Ah, it's kind of hard to do it when it's small. You got to do it when it's large. It's easier to do it. Yeah, it's this one. All right. Lines up there. Lines up there. That's it. And we would have got short. Right. There. So on the opening of this candle, where the arrow is, on the opening of this candle right here, okay, we would have got short, and our stop would have been 371 points, okay, and we hit the 1 to 1 with the last ratio, okay, so you would have hit your first target and your second target on your other half of the order, if that's the way you trade, you would, as soon as you hit that first target, you move your stop to plus 5 or plus 10. And you would have been stopped out on your second half of the order with plus 5 or plus 10. So anyway, um, was there another trade? There certainly was, and I'll show it to you right now. It was what we call hidden divergence right here. Okay? all the way down to here. You can even bring it to here if you want. This here is a bullshit bad tick. I don't know why that <laughs> that happened, but anyway. It's bullshit by tick. So, 
uh, let's draw in the other um, yeah it's from right from this low right to there okay you can see it lines up there and it lines up there so our entry would have been after this bullish candle right here okay or if you would have got a better little bit of a price you know usually you like to wait for it to come back to the trigger line but anyway say we got in right here our stop would have been uh, 400 points yes 400 and it's only went up 182 so far so it has not reached our target yet okay like I said I don't usually show these trades until they've developed but anyway it's already long past the entry from where I say to get in so that's it for gold so anyway the one last thing I want to cover before I end this video today is the Dow okay so on the Dow uh, we have some plain as day sticking out at you like a sore thumb and an apple pie is right here okay boom boom okay and from right 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 here or even right here wherever you want to draw it right there it's right there okay oh to line it up it's one more over really supposed to draw it right down here but I, I just draw it to the top here nothing you know here we'll put it there to the candle where it lines up oh it's not even that candle <laughs> it's this one okay there it is there there it is there we would have entered right here okay on this cross down Enter, yeah, either, either would have entered here and it went up uh, against you about 500 points yes yes your stop is 1700 <laughs> 1700 points ladies and gentlemen but this right here is what you call hidden divergence and it's looking like it's going to sell off and go to new lows down to 15,000 Dow and worst case scenario 10,000 Dow okay that's where I think it's going just remember you heard that first here okay that's my prediction of where it's going and if it doesn't then the US government is gonna print up and puke up some more trillions of dollars to buy it back up again so we'll see what it does you know this could be a little sell fake here getting everybody excited saying hey sell sell and they take it back up again or you know they're really going to smack it down which I think they're gonna do because this this epidemic uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna go away anytime soon it's gonna be here for some time so anyway uh, like I said let's look at the last five days here's the last five days here so we had a bullish day on Monday and we basically sold off from Tuesday uh, it's looking pretty bearish to me okay so anyway I want to show you one more thing before I end this video I want to go to the m monthly chart okay remember I showed you the monthly chart last week and I showed you I took it from here to here with the Fibonacci look I forgot to show you one thing not that I need to show it to you on the Fibonacci. But as I told, showed you, see? Came almost to the 50%, right? So right now, we came back down to 38.2, and it's bounced off there a little bit. As you can see here, let me make it bigger. See? So the question is, are they going to trade off this Fibonacci level and buy it, buy it right back up? I don't know. Or are they going to take it down to the 61.8 which is around the 15,000 Dow area we don't know we don't know until it happens right so anyway I want to show you something just how powerful uh, divergence is okay 
Okay, here we go. But I'll show you I'll show you also a fake out with divergence. Okay? Back here in 2014, to me, when it when it sold off right here, wow. I thought for sure she was they were gonna take her back down. Back down to ten thousand, eight thousand, somewhere back here. Back down to twenty eleven, which was ten thousand. That's where I thought they were going to take it back down to right here, but they didn't. It was a sell fake. And then it was another sell fake. But look, we had a double bottom here, and then up it went. Okay? But anyway, let me show you. So, you take it from here, draw it up. This is how I, was, I drew it back. In 2015, I drew this. And I was showing my account. Okay? Because. Uh, he also trades mutual funds. He, he, he trades this market, basically, right? Okay, and right here is the divergence, the sell. So they did the sell fake right here, and then they took it back up again. And did another sell fake and made this double bottom right here, okay? And if we pull up the chart, look at it very closely. Let me make it bigger. And we'll pull it up even more just to show you. Here it is. See that? That's a double bottom divergence right there. Right there. Boom. Is the double bottom right there. So right here, if you would have bought right here, okay, you would have lost on this sell trade because you would have sold it right here. And, uh, you know, unless you got out here at the double bottom, I guess, I guess you could have got out here and made a few, made a, quite a few points there. But anyway, then it gave the double bottom, and as you can see, it's divergence, and then uh, you would have got long somewhere in here, even right here after it broke through the highs. So if you would have got long here all the way up and stuck with it all the way up to the top, that's uh, ten thousand points. Okay, but look at this now. We got one more, ladies and gentlemen, right, right here. From this high to this high. Here it is. You've seen it first here on Jason Sweezy's Forex Trading Watchdog. So, look at that. It triggered. It shows you the divergence at the top of this move to go down. And it showed it before the corona happened, okay? So anyway, if you got in right here, your stop would have been about 4,400 points. And so far, you got 6,900 points out of that trade. And there it is. Triggered right there. So anyway, uh, I want to thank you all for listening and watching today. Uh, it's great to have you here. Once again, my name is Jason Sweezy. Um, this is Forex Trading Watchdog. And this is my divergent, divergence trading, training, and, uh, you know, I love to show you guys the stuff in the charts. I love to show you week after week that it works. And, uh, you know, hey, if you want to learn, send me an email or just get a hold of me or just look around my blog and you'll find the video course um, if you'd like. And uh, anyway, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, Please subscribe and this is hit the sus subscribe button. Make sure you hit the gray bell. You click on the gray bell and make it look like it's ringing. That way you'll get my videos every every video I do. If you subscribe and uh, please hit the like button. So anyway, uh, good luck and good trading and have a great weekend.